With SuperSurf 10 just around the corner, Chopper fans have been spraying graffiti over walls, and making a big scene about Chopper being released from his ISO cube to race in SuperSurf 10. The story begins with Judge Dredd arresting one of those graffiti artists. A news reporter interviews Juggs, who is the winner of Super Surf 8 and 9, and asks how he can say he is the best when he has never raced any of the previous champions, like Chopper the winner of Super Surf 7. He talks down about Chopper, and claims that he is a chicken. Due to the demand for Chopper to race by his fans, Judge Dredd collects Chopper to transport him to a secure location, however, the crowd has other plans, and pins Judge Dredd to the ground. Chopper is able to get the key and unlock his cuffs, and takes to the sky on his board. Chopper knocks out two judges, and escapes with his fans chanting his praises that he has escaped. Chopper takes refuge at his friend Flip Tiller's house, who has some of his old clothes and equipment. His friend tells him about Jugs, and how he has been bad-mouthing Chopper. To his friend's surprise, Chopper tells him that he is heading to Oz, and is going to win Super Surf 10, even if he has to fly the whole way on his board, which his friend believes is impossible. As Chopper tries to escape the city, he is spotted by the judges, and they try to shoot him down out of the sky. He is hit in the shoulder, but it only mildly burns him. He is able to use traffic to his advantage and escape Mega City 1, via the West Wall. The judges radio through to Judge Dredd, to tell him that Chopper has escaped as he is arresting Chopper's friend Flip Tillis. Chopper waits a while for the judges to stop their search, and then heads into the cursed earth. Judge Dredd is interviewed, and asked what the judges are planning to do about Chopper's escape, and Judge Dredd says that they will do nothing, and that Chopper will die in the cursed earth. Chopper stays high as he flies, which helps with speed, when he finally takes a break to eat something, he is attacked by skeletons that come up out of the ground, and try to grab him. As they grab at his board, he grabs at the board and manages to fly into the air, grabbing his backpack as he does so. The news, reports on the multiple reports that are coming in, as people claim that Chopper has died in the cursed earth, that is until there is a confirmed sighting of him traveling over Memphis. He balances himself in the air, and straps himself to his board to avoid being on the ground when he sleeps, but at some point, he is shot at and has to scarper quite quickly. He is attacked by a bunch of mutant birds, that are part man, part bird, and completely grotesque, they cut Chopper free of his board, and as he falls to his death, he is grabbed by the talons of one of the creatures. They try to drop him into a nest as food, but he fights back, and manages to get back onto his board. He kills one of them, and is then pursued by the others, but he is too fast and they give up chasing him. Chopper is exhausted after his ordeal and falls asleep on a beach. He wakes up and realizes that it was stupid, and that anything could have got him while he slept. He only has one last surfboard power cell left, which isn't enough to get him across the ocean. He eats his last sandwich and realizes that there is a high probability, that he will die, he heads off across the sea. In Mega City 1, judges are attacked by the Judder. They have similar outfits to the judges, and are very tall in stature. They kill Brufen, and call through to control, to ask for the whereabouts of three judges. One of those judges is Judge Dredd. Dredd is arresting a Juve, when one of the Judder teleports to his location, and attacks him. Judge Dredd puts up a fight, but everything he throws at the Judder, does not hurt him, even high explosive rounds. Things are looking bleak for Dredd, but he throws his knife, hitting the Judder in the throat, and killing him. As the judges piece together what is happening, they try to save McNamee, but the Judder get to him first and kill him, upon testing the corpse of the Judder that Dredd killed, the results come back, saying that he is made up of DNA from Chief Judge Fargo, Rico, and Dredd. Chopper makes his way across the Pacific Ocean, continually going against the odds, as he heads into a storm. Meanwhile, Jug is interviewed, and is still rude and talks negatively about Chopper, saying he won't make it. In Mega City 1, it is revealed that Dredd will be traveling to Oz, 
to capture Chopper on the off chance that he does beat the odds, and makes it to Super Surf 10. Chopper fights against the storm, but he is too weak and his board is running out of juice, so he accepts that he has failed. As he falls, he begins to imagine crowds cheering, as he heads towards his own death. News coverage starts to spread the word that Chopper is most likely dead. Judge Dredd arrives in Oz, regardless, and is greeted by Judge Bruce, who is more lenient than the judges of Mega City 1 are used to. A surfer that is entering Super Surf 10 shows off, and even though Judge Bruce sees him as playing around, Judge Dredd shoots him in the leg. The first heat starts for Super Surf 10, and ends any chances of Chopper entering the competition. Some fans of, and fellow surfers of Chopper, hold a funeral for Chopper believing that he is dead. By sheer luck, whilst being pelted by the storm and falling fast, Chopper comes across a ship, he manages to navigate his way onto the deck. He cannot find any crew men on the ship, but he does find a robot chef. The chef turns angry, but Chopper is able to calm him down, and convinces him to make Chopper some food. Whilst Chopper is eating, the chef robot reveals that he killed the crew, and that he has been using them in his cooked meals. Chopper spits out his food and angers the robot. Chopper tries his best to fight off the robot, but he doesn't stand a chance. He manages to convince the robot to let him eat one more meal, and asks for the same meal that he gave the captain, as it sounded delicious. The robot believes him, and allows Chopper the chance to lock him into the kitchen, he quickly breaks down the door, but it allows Chopper to get some distance between them. As the robot pursues him, Chopper finds a flare in a safe, and sets the robot ablaze with it, and knocks the burning robot into the sea. Realizing that his board is too heavily damaged, he figures out how to navigate the ship to Oz, and repairs his board as the ship travels across the sea. Once his board is fixed, and he is close enough to Oz, he gets on his board and heads into Oz. Reports start to circulate that Chopper has been seen. When it is radioed through to Dread that Chopper has made it to Oz, he secretly has a little bit of admiration for Chopper. Chopper is greeted by an excited crowd. Jug even approaches him, and gives him credit where it's due. He is interviewed, but Judge Dredd arrives and arrests him, stating that he missed the heats, and has missed the chance to become a racer in Super Surf 10. The crowd gets angry with this, and demands that Chopper be set free to race. Judge Bruce arrests Dredd, saying that he will be detained until after the race, because arresting Chopper will cause a riot. Chopper is told that surfing across the cursed Earth and Pacific, is enough of a qualification to race. While Chopper tests out the race course, the news, broadcast the current situation with Dredd. Judge Dredd patiently waits, and two Judder teleport into the room. They attack Dredd, and when he fires back, they realize it is a trap. Disruptors prevent the teleporters from working, Judge Dredd is able to defeat them. As the other judges enter, they cover the Judder in foam and arrest them. They interrogate one of the Judder, and while running tests on him, they get more data confirming their suspicions that the Judda are genetically modified clones, made by Morton Judd, who was an old council of five judge, in the days of Judge Fargo. The Judda ends up giving himself a brain hemorrhage. Judge Dredd decides to put on a tracer, and uses the remaining belt to teleport to the Judda's hideout. He takes out the Judda guarding the teleporter. When Dredd realizes that the hideout is in some sort of cave, he suspects that the tracer probably isn't working. He tries to find his way out of the caves to get the tracer to work, but is pursued by the Judder. He has to crawl up a tunnel, and is backed into a narrow section of the cave. Dredd realizes that he is trapped, and hands himself in. He is taken to Morton Judd. Judge Dredd's tracer begins working again. The judges get the location of the hideout and head to the Radlands, and open fire on the Judder's hideout. The attack on the Judder hideout, allows Dredd to break free, he attacks the Judder. Morton Judd tells the Judder to teleport and attack the Halls of Justice. Dredd is able to take out Morton Judd, and uses his teleporter to get back and warn the judges of the attack. 
The Judder teleport in, but the judges are ready for them. As the fight continues, Dredd fights his way through the Judder and activates a nuke. He straps his teleporter to the nuke, and sends it back through to Judd's hideout. It goes off and destroys Morton Judd, and all of the Judder there. Dredd and the other judges protect the halls of justice against the Judder. Those that aren't defeated by the judges, teleport back to their hideout, only to be killed by the nuke's radiation. It's not long before the judges win, and put an end to the Judder. Judge Dredd speaks to Chopper and tells him that he came to Oz for other reasons, without divulging too much information to him. He tells Chopper to win the race for Mega City 1, and warns him that when the race is over, Dredd will be waiting at the finishing line, to arrest him. Chopper leaves and heads for the race, there is a countdown and the race starts. Chopper gets to the first hurdle, the Dame Edna, a huge yacht. Chopper makes it through, but there is a serious collision between a bunch of surfers. Raxman is in the lead, so Chopper decides to close the distance. Over the next couple of hurdles, Chopper gets through them fine, and it gets to a point where it's neck and neck between Chopper and Juggs McKenzie. Chopper makes it into the obstacle called the flume, but Juggs uses his own board to tip Chopper's board. Both men take a tumble down the flume. As they get back onto their boards, several other racers take the lead. When they get going, they manage to overtake several racers, but it's still neck and neck between Chopper and Juggs McKenzie. They race through a planetary museum, and then through Gasoline Valley, which kills several surfers as they catch fire. Both Chopper and Juggs McKenzie take risks by taking shortcuts through burning buildings, but make it through alive. Both men reach the finish line, and Juggs McKenzie wins by a fraction, and becomes a three-time Super Surf winner. Dredd approaches Chopper to arrest him, but Chopper refuses. Dredd is about to shoot him, but there is a commotion, and Juggs McKenzie knocks Dredd over. Dredd is about to arrest Juggs, but Judge Bruce stops him, and both judges have some harsh words with each other. Meanwhile Chopper gets away and heads for the Radlands. Thank you for watching, please like, comment, or subscribe, and don't forget to hit the notification bell, so that you can be notified of all future content.